my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because today we're going to be doing a short ab workout. I'm just doing um, two or three exercises. I haven't decided on if I'm doing two or three yet. We'll see as we go along. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing the same ab workout for 30 days straight just to see what my core starts to look like. I'm pretty happy with my core. I've never really had issues with it, but lately because I have been gaining more weight, I've just been getting a lot softer. Nothing horrible, it's nothing like it's not the end of the world. But I do want to be doing uh, more ab workouts just to pull my stomach in. It's a little bloated, uh, more than usual. But yeah, it's hanging over my pants a little, so we're going to correct that over 30 days. I am still going to be trying to gain weight throughout this like 30 day period because I am still trying to get thicker. So I'm interested to see how my core and my midsection look after these 30 days. Of course, I'm still going to be gaining weight in this area as well because that's one of the areas that I gain weight first here as well as like my legs. But yeah, this is what I look like right now. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so starting off with dead bugs, we're doing four sets of 25 reps. One rep just means one arm touches, that's one rep. The other arm touches down, that's another rep. So what you wanna do is get onto your back, pull your belly button to your spine so that your low back does not have a curve in it. You want your low back to be pressed into the floor. So once you're flexing your core like that, you also wanna have your legs up in the air. Your hips are at a 90 degree bend and your knees are also at a 90 degree bend. And your arms are going to be straight up on top of your shoulders. What you're going to do is extend the opposite arm behind your head with the opposite leg straight. So for example, if you're extending your left arm behind your head, you're gonna tap the floor with your left hand and extend your right leg straight. Keeping your core flexed the entire time, just focus on not letting your back come off the floor. Immediately after that set, you're gonna go straight into a plank and hold it for 25 seconds. In total, you'll be doing four planks, 25 second holds each. So that is super, I don't want to say easy workout, it's just a super quick workout. Um, it's going to get harder as the days progress. I'm going to record my progress as the days go on for the next 30 days. And yeah, I'll record what my body looks like and the changes that I'm seeing. I'm excited to do this little mini challenge that I made for myself and I hope that you're all excited to see the results as well. All that being said, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, do so now, as well as give this video a thumbs up. And if you've done both of those, then go ahead and click that little bell to turn on your post notifications so you never miss another workout with me again. This is what my core is looking like right now. From the side, when I flex, that's what I mean when I say pull your belly button to spine. So flexing your belly in. So that's what I look like right now. The back, other side. And the front, I really wanna just work on pulling this all in and standing up straighter, giving my low back the support it needs.
just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
I just wanted to mention that in my day 30, I'm standing a lot closer to the camera than I am during day two. Okay you guys, I just wanted to throw on a quick self tan so I did that last night. I'm just going to show you what my core is looking like now. So. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you've done both of those things, go ahead and click on that little bell to turn on your post notifications so you never miss another workout with me again. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it.